Hey guys, and welcome back to Cultist Simulator. I am the Seven Swords, and we are here with Tom Smiles, the Aspirant. In the last episode, we were working on our job at Glover and Glover. We were doing some exploration with Moreland's shop, finding different um, lores, and we were researching, and we were talking with different people. Today we're going to continue down this path as we continue to try and unlock the more interesting parts of this game. We've got a um, uh, affliction. Uh, hang on, this character is a little different from these. As you can see, he doesn't have a name and he doesn't have a face, but still useful in a way. My wife is currently putting our cat in my face. What did it kiss? Work is complete when I assess the work has complete and not before. Trust we have an understanding. So, what's his name is giving me a hard time again. Which is fine. We're going to go ahead and take a break from the job. I might lose it, which personally I don't care. Really with this, with um, uh, Glover and Glover, if you lose the job over and over again, it's not really that much of an issue. It's one of those things that you'll just get it back every time you try, and if you lose it, well, that's fine. So let's go ahead and continue with this gathering knowledge from the streets and purchasing knowledge from, this, from the store. We've gained an affliction, which this will help us handle. Glover and Glover is reaching its end. Um, this is a collection of poetry. We had this, I believe, last time, where if I use it, I get a bunch of, um, uh, I get a couple of the glimmerings. We gain back our physique. Our health is fatigued. We're going to go ahead and sleep that away. We gain a vitality. Our physical traits back. And a little bit of money. If it wasn't for the fact that I just put my dream to visit business, I probably would be fixing this. We'll do that in a little bit, though. Won't be much of a problem. We've lost our job at Glover & Glover. Let's go ahead and go back and beg for our job again, even though... Technically, I don't want it back, but I need it. So, we also gained a new book. Again, you guys can read these if you want. I'm not going to read these because these are always the same, and I don't want to reread all these all the time. They're the same per book, but we're going to go ahead and read that. Our dread is raising a little higher than I'd like, but we're going to be okay with it for now. Our health returns. And now we fix the affliction. As far as the um, uh, affliction goes, it should be a pro it shouldn't be much of a problem for us. Our passion is dim, but it will return. Give them my reason, and they'll give me money. Seems like a I would say fair trade, but mm. we've gained another person. Another secret, a little bit more mystique, and our passion comes back. We're going to continue to talk about the red secret. Gathering these acquaintances is useful, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with them until we have something specific, and I'm waiting for a specific trait to come along. It's one of the lores, but it's not any of the lores we have yet. I'm either waiting for a specific trait or for this character to die. Or for this character's story to come to an end, I should say. The Book of King... The Book... Our rep, Rept in Kings. I'm going to go ahead and study that. Go ahead and head back to Moreland, spend some more money. At this point, um, as I've said with Tom Smile, with the, this whole series, it's going to be a storytelling. I believe Tom Smiles is finally finding himself like engrossed in this knowledge. He wants 
more of it. He's and if he, he's going to start making choices that would probably be poor, poor poor choices, but I can also see why he would be more intrigued in them. Purchasing more of these books, studying more of them, gaining more knowledge. Knowledge, finding more of these acquaintances. A collection of essays. So he's going to start spending his money very rapidly. Um, I will try to maintain at least a little bit of money. As you saw, that gave us a contentment. It was instantly taken by the dread. As the dread attempts to, as the contentment will help us lower that. The waking chant, as we see, this is a little bit different. This one's a, this one. If we look in, if we look in this, this is a, this is a strength two. This is a strength six. They each have a different type of strength to them. Collection of poetry. We're gonna go ahead and do it again. I don't plan on taking this down below three, but we should be getting some money now on our side from um, Glover and Glover soon. And sadly, while I wish there was a way for me to gain more money, this field doesn't really give you much of an option for money. So we're going to continue flowing down the, down the, down the river as we go. And we'll go ahead and spend one more. Okay. Fine. We're about to get paid from Glover and Glover anyways. So we gain two coins from Glover and Glover. Our job comes back, our reason gets dimmed, and we go back to work again. Um, bleak thoughts still have my mind, which is fine. This is not a problem until you get up to um, three. As of right now, I'm just kind of waiting for it to take care of itself. I'm not going to busy, busy myself with it. Not until I feel like it's a necessity. I don't know the books. I think they each give you a specific lore every time, but I don't know what those are, so... The, wisp the Moth, That's as you can see, that's a Sage 4. The circle gets farther and farther around them. They go up by twos. So now we have those stages in between. That is also not the type I am looking for. I'm looking for the one that is the purple key. I prefer the purple key as I feel like it is an easier path to take. And we will be going down the purple key first. I don't feel like it's necessary to go down the purple key for the story, but I prefer the purple key to the others. The other only other one I would prefer is the lantern. That might be a bad decision. We'll see. Nope, I'll get paid before. Um, the end of my tale before the end of the day. Now, I mean, I'll get paid for my work. So we get to this point. Um, uh, Count Jennings. I believe he is a little bit of a difference. Yeah, he's different from the others. Um, we'll go over what his difference from the others is in a moment. Um, these are acquaintances. As we can see, they don't have very much. We can recruit them as a follower eventually. Well, Jennings is a more of a... He needs our assistance with something. We'll be looking at that in a little while. The Watchman's Secret, that's the lantern knowledge I spoke of. That's my usual go-to one. I like the... For some reason, I like the idea of going down the Watchman's Secret. Don't really have the money to be continuing down that path. I would really think that these would take the mystique, but I think it's a different version of that. Glover and Glover require reason again. And bleak thoughts continues to run. This will continue to run until I either satisfy it with contentment or it kills me with dread. You can if you can hear it in the background, my girlfriend, my wife is currently laughing. I don't know why. The fact that the cat started playing with the squeaky toy. Oh, the cat's playing with the squeaky toy. I, truthfully, I didn't even hear it. You guys might not have heard it, but... Back to work. 
There are better jobs than Glover with Glover, but I don't know how to unlock them without having them at the beginning of the game. So we will be going down other routes eventually. There will be other routes we can go down eventually. Um, we're going to have... We're going to use my health to explore. And we're going to talk of a red secret. And we're going to study the book. And we're going to dream passionately. Because now we have this lore. I don't think six is going to be high enough. I think we need eight according to do what I what the next stage of the dreaming is. Ah, the auction house. That is a useful location. That locale is more useful. I would say that locale is more useful than most because you can choose to go you can choose to go there and then based on if you find something useful, you can choose to you can choose to search for it. You can choose to purchase it. It's like an actual auction house. You know what you're getting, though, every time you buy it. Unlike with the Mullen shop where you get a random book. This, you'll know what you're getting. This one, you'll know what you're getting before you get it. The Adisis Club, another decent location. We now have all three of the locations I know of that I can get with this version of the game. Any other ones I've never gotten before. Well, I should say any other... Um, uh, casual locations or are expedition locations that you can get that I know of that I haven't that we haven't seen yet but I'm not even looking for the expedition locations yet you don't just stumble upon them you have to go to, to, to find them in a different sense um, let's go ahead and study so with this with the lures you can study them together to combine their knowledge We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but we'll see what happens. I gain a vitality, which is good because I just got an affliction. This is um, me pyring a hireling. We saw this in the last one. This one is the um, uh, fortune teller. I don't really need him right now, so I'm kind of ignoring them. We do gain a fascination, a waking chant. But yeah, that wasn't enough to get us into the deeper realms yet. So... I'm going to stream healthfully. I don't think this will be a good idea, but let's do it anyways. My health has come back fatigued from exploring the city. It looks like I didn't get anything there. That's annoying. Fascination is a problem, but we'll deal with it in time. Lover and Glover requires my attention again, which is fine. We gain another hang on. These guys are more useless than anything. Really, they they have their poor purposes, but they're very specific. It's more useful just to gather them and then keep them at your side. Eventually, they become what they truly are, pawns. My vitality returns. I'm going to be taking care of this affliction in no time. Do you might work at Glover and Glover. You can work at Glover and Glover enough to get your money up. It does slowly rise. It's not as good as um, some would wish, but it does. You can eventually rise. We did get a contentment out of that, which was very useful, although not necessary. We'll dream our affliction away using vitality. We gained our Smith secret. I didn't actually see what was going on there. Um, this is, um, uh, I believe these are like flavor cards because as we look at it, I hope I improve, I hope to improve my forge lore, increasing the understanding of forge lore. So it's lasts for about three sec for about 0.3 seconds and then it completely disappears. So it's really hard to explain. It's not really that useful. The mistake I made, though, was that you need to do something after it reaches a certain level. Because it's going to go through this, and then it's and then normally the next thing is that it requests something of me. And if I give it, it it'll increase my knowledge. If I don't, it'll do what it just did. Although I think there's a dice rolling going on in the background, because it seems like sometimes it will just give it to you for free. Although, the better you do with the rolls, the, be the more you supply it, the better it does. Another hang on. 
I don't know how many of these guys you could have. The most I've had before is four. So the solution wants erudition. I don't have any erudition on me at the moment. But there's a trick but there's a trick to this now. Because it's always going to request erudition. So now what I do is I wait. It fails. Or it rolls and now it's failed because it's a low chance of pet success, I believe, even if you No. Oh. I got my money without giving my reason. That's a nice change of pace. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's something going on there. So we gain the Smith secret back. What we're going to do next is we're going to summon. I mean, not summon. Um, we're going to study er, my er, my reason in order to obtain the erudition that we needed. We gain our restlessness and a temptation of power. You can handle these restlessness. I'm not currently going down that route, so. I'm just going to let the restlessness turn to dread and then try to deal with the dread in time. Do we have a season of dread coming up? Yes, we do. Uh, of course we do. Need my attention there. I feel like you should be able to use restlessness for that. Del, Ed. Yeah, he's another one of these special ones. They're useful. They just aren't. I'm just not. I just don't have what I need right now to deal with them. So now we have erudition. So now if I go back to the Smith secret. You can't explore the, the occult scrap. That's one of the that's one it's one way to find those locations I was talking about, the special locations. Um, we won't be doing that for some time still. I need a couple more things before I can do that. We gained a glimmering. First step. Another game that's um, uh, that this remind like one game that this reminded me of, although it has a bit more to it, is the Sunless Z, the Sunless Z, which is a underwater. It's an it's not an underwater, although you can get the submarine expansion, which then takes you to underwater. But the Sunless Z, what it is, is you're in a cave, an ocean in a cave. And you're sailing around and finding weird, mysterious secrets. Has a lot to do with this, as there's more story to the game than there is game. Which, that's what this game was all about. More story than game. We gain back our information. We gain back our passion. Go ahead and put the, the mystique back out there. Gain back our health. Gain back our money. Our Glover and Glover. Um, for those that are like, that wasn't gain back our information and that was our mystique that we gained from searching for. I caught that, I just moved past it. I realized that if I'm watching if I was watching this, I would be I would be currently screaming at the screen. That wasn't you gaining back knowledge of it was you was people gaining knowledge about you. So we sacrifice two to gain one. That's how you increase these the lores of these. Each of them do have a secret, though, about them. That's a little different from the others. For example, um, is, it, how, is it this I look at? I can study them together to improve my understanding of the type of verdict. But as you can see, we can put reason, which reason will cut it down. Putting it with knife, if we put knife in there, Oh, it's the wrong level. If we had knife of the same level, we could put that in there, and it does something different. I think it either it gives you knife or it gives you reason. I mean, it gives you knife or it gives you flame. We're gonna dream, have, dream, see if it gives us the um, uh, contentment that we need to handle this because we just get another restlessness. And I'm actually going to handle this restlessness because if I don't, it's going to be a problem. Going to use a bit of my notoriety here. We're going to paint with my my um, uh, restlessness. We gain back that um, uh, we have a good day coming, and we gain a new their acquaintance. Going to go continue to talk. 
There's our contentment, which is going to get sucked up. We gain dread. That's a possibility. Oh, paints. Um, put the fucking money in for paints. Sadly, this card's about to burn out, which it did. So now we have Mystique. Mystique. A fascination. A glimmering. A glimmering. Contentment. Mystique. Mystique. We gain back our things and a little bit of gold. Not much, though. Back to begging for my job. This particular route is very slow and very hard. This is more of to teach somebody how to play. I haven't found how the Aspirant... I thought each of them was supposed to be something somehow skilled. Somehow have a bonus to them. I haven't really figured out what the Aspirant's good at. And diligence. I haven't really figured out what the Aspirant's good at. All I've found so far that the Aspirant has to their advantage is that they start with a decent job. With a job. Well, a lot of them start with a job. So now we have a new player on the board. This is the wary detective. This gentleman would much would much rather be left alone with his pipe and his illustration London illustrated London news. But no, apparently some conjurer of abominations has to be hunted down like a mad dog, and apparently no one can find the time else can find the time. So this is the wary detective. He is a detective who He's interested in finding people who are hunting, who are doing occult-like things. I am doing occult-like things. In this world, in the world that this game takes place, we are part of a group. There's a, there is a, um, uh, there is a, there's a group known as the Suspicious Bureau, which they come and hunt for people. They come out and look for people who are doing occult things. So he is now found, he is now caught whiff of us. I don't remember if it was a mystique or what it was that gave him information of us being a thing. But now he's out looking for us. Every once in a while he'll, he'll, he'll try to find us. Eventually he can. Eventually one of the lost cases is him finding you. He then takes you and puts you in jail. But it takes a lot, to, long time to go down that route. I've only managed to do it once, and I was trying to do it because there's a certain type of, there's a certain playthrough you get if you get caught by him. There's a playthrough that's unlocked or available. But we'll get more into that when I, when this character's story finally comes to a need, to a close. We have another restlessness from our temptation of power. Our attention is necessary, so we give him our reason. Um, do we want to go to the Adisis Club? Not really. My dread's becoming a problem. Let's go to the, um, uh, let's go to the... Mm, I'll take it. So that's how what I mean. You can then click here, see what you're about to get, and then decide if you want to buy it. Instead of being like the other, instead of being like the... Bowling shop where you go, you find it, and you're like, oh, I didn't want this. You could also take certain things here to sell. We don't have much to sell, and while I could sell this book that's in Greek, I don't want to. It's more useful as knowledge to me. My board needs to be, be reordered. I might do that in between episodes, as we are close to the end of this episode. So we have the option. Um, there is a possibility of this being like um, uh, an actual auction, where it says... Where instead of me getting it, it's kept away from me by somebody else who wants it. My dread increases. Annoying. Mm, not yet. Not desperate enough for that. Also, we're about to get the contentment anyways. We gained some funds and our, and our job at Glover and Glover comes back. Go ahead and call for another session at Glover and Glover. Could use the money. 
we now have we now have gained a bit more dread bad a bit more lore decent we're gonna go ahead and reorder this a little bit we are about to get to the end of the episode but i don't want to wait until the end to actually reorder this we'll put our acquaintances down here our hang-ons right here our knowledge here so i can start right and we gain a new car another new type of card dread but we also gain the sunset's right the assassination must assassination must cry tears of genuine the assistant must cry genuine tears genuine tear tear must cry tears of genuine emotion got there in the individually which are as spread in the place where the influence lies if all done well the sun of un in rags will consume the influence and acknowledge an ending and lend its assistance so this is all right rights are interesting i've never performed one but these are usually the key to the end one of the keys to the end, I should say. You need several cards to play the end game. Get our funding back. Keep going to work. I am going to currently hold this because I don't need this being eat. I don't need it being eaten by that. As much as I hate um, cheesing it like this, I need to be able, I really don't want Dread to be my ending. I feel like this character has a lot of possible endings, but I don't want him to succumb to his Dread just yet. I'm going to go explore the um, place again. Because why not? That seems like a decent book. We're going to go and see. Nah, I didn't grab it. I thought I did, but I didn't. I may, dry, I may die to dread anyways. No matter how much I don't want to, I may try to dread anyways. Well, he's only down one. We're only down two. We need to get down three according to fail and hopefully uh, the affliction. <sighs> Fine. See, that's where somebody else bid it on it. Well, which if we take this out, someone else has matched my bid. I must match it with more funds or forgo my prize. I want the book, so we're going to continue to invest. Especially since the book of knowledge of, uh, that's in, that as far as I can tell, it's English. Yep. So I really wanted it. Uh, my intention is necessary. I need to keep that dread down. That's a season of ambition, which is going to give me another dread. So I do need to um, uh, be aggressive on getting a dread, a contentment. And this is the best way to guarantee an contentment before my um, uh, dread comes. Place behind desire, which will give me some knowledge or at a moment. Imperative truth, another occult type secret. Um, let's study some health. Sometimes this game is like this, where it'll be slow for a few minutes. But, with that glimmering gathered, and... So we're certainly suffering from a sickness, but we are dealing with that. Um, you can also deal with it with money, but I like dealing with it with this more. If it got down under... I would say 40, I probably would just go with the money fix. But for now, um, that's the end of our episode. Thomas Smiles continues down his road. He's a little bit more knowledgeable about some of the areas of his secrets. If we take the, to the ordering these properly, that's how they should fall. But we'll see this fill up more and us gain more of this and a bit of a, a bit of this and a bit of that everywhere. Um, in the next episode, we'll see, you, you'll see me continue down this path, and hopefully we'll make finally make a break and find the knock lore. But until then, I've been the Seven Swords, you have all been wonderful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!